Hi Water Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your week ahead. This is for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This is like, it's supposed to be like who's coming towards you, but you know, energies, whatever comes up, comes up. This is your week ahead, March 24th through the 31st for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. What do we got for the week ahead for the Water Signs? Somebody may re be relocating, okay? Somebody may be relocating. Somebody may be deciding to, you know, travel or go to a dis different destination. Looks like you're trying to appease several at one time. Um, or you're dealing with somebody who is trying to make everybody happy. Um, hmm. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, things may seem a little unstable. Um, you may be tested. You may be tested this week. Um, I think that somebody here is putting in a lot of effort. I mean, look at all the coins, okay? They have a, somebody is really, really focused on their money, focused on their pentacles, focused on... Um, investment this week, maybe um, building an empire, you know, we have somebody here that is really, really focused, concentrated and organized, somebody that is working really, really, really hard, focused on everything but looks like love, you know, I'm focused on my security and my stability right now, so somebody here that is watching this is being very practical and working really, really, really hard, okay? Maybe you're just working hard to regain structure in your life, you know? Um, hmm. It's like making new plans. You empress. Seven of Swords. Ooh. I think you guys have been through a period of, of stagnation. Maybe you uh, went through a period of not having ambition. Maybe you went through, you know, a low a low period. But I think it's over. I do. I think that you guys are in the mode of creation. You're in the mode of, of nurturing and taking care of business. Working Definitely working on your abundance. There's no doubt. There's also a soulmate connection here. Just so y'all know. I know that this, this seems to be focused around money and, and work. But the emperor and the empress are like a power couple. They they are a power couple. This is a this is a coupling that is very strong and meant to be. Okay, so I don't know if you're dealing with a soulmate right now, but you if you if not, you could have one around you or coming into your life. Um, now the three of swords reverse is forgiveness. It's forgiveness. It is letting go of past hurts. Um, somebody could be coming in, or this you know, or you could be taking action. Somebody is, I mean, this is moving forward, slowly moving forward in forgiveness. So some of you may be working on forgiving a situation. I don't know. I don't know. Um, somebody could be asking for one more chance with that nine of wands. You know, they've come a long ways and they don't want to give up. They don't want to give up the stability. Um, just saying, I'm just going to be honest with you here. There's been some sort of deception with that Seven of Swords and perhaps no, somebody wants to put in effort, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is re 
in regards to a relationship or in regards to work, but it looks like there's been some lies, there's been some deception with the Seven of Swords. And I feel like somebody is, is still wanting to work on it, though. Even though there's been lies and there's been deceit and there's been, you know, some sneaky, shady behavior, somebody still wants to put in effort to make something work out. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with anybody else. But it feels as though there could be a revival. I mean, there could be a revival of a connection. There could be. There could. This is a revival right here. So, there, and it's right, you know, it's right in between these people. So there could be a revival. It's like things have been stalled. Things have been delayed. There may have been no communication. Somebody may have taken a break. But now it's like, maybe now it's time. Maybe now it's time to come together. Uh, maybe it's time to um, finally move forward and, and forgive a situation. Let go of the past hurts and and start over. You know, this is the Empress gives birth to a new life. She does. So it looks like we have an opportunity to begin. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't been new beginning here. Um, Maybe somebody is has has healed from the deception. They've healed from from the lies. You know, it looks to me like we have a masculine here that is ready to put in some effort. No, I don't know. I don't know. It looks to me like maybe maybe somebody has given up. Maybe maybe one of these people has has given up and has decided that I'm going to focus on everything but this connection. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on my investments. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on another person even, you know, and somebody realizes that, you know, it's time to move forward. I don't know what that is, but. We have some growth here. We absolutely have some growth with that Empress card. Yeah, somebody from the past. There is a past connection here. I do believe there is a past connection here. There's memories of the past and somebody may be, you know, because this is seeds you've planted a long time ago coming to fruition, fruition. So perhaps something that you started a long time ago is coming back around. It's like the past is coming back around. Perhaps this person, whoever it is, whether it's you, that's this is like coming with something in your hand, you know, or they are coming with something in their hand is something to offer. So somebody maybe somebody from your past or if it's you, somebody is has something to offer. Okay, somebody is coming with something to offer. I feel as though, you know, they are definitely looking for forgiveness because this is forgiveness of the past. Oh my God! So yeah, we have a we have an unexpected choice in love. This is a soulmate connection, absolutely. The emperor and empress is soulmate. This is soulmate, and this is soulmate. So we have a we have a soulmate connection here. This is like a destiny. It really is. It is. It's a destined match here. I feel like somebody is is. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles. This is coming forward with an offer, a solid, stable offer. Somebody has been planning to come forward, and now they're finally moving. Somebody from the past may be asking for forgiveness or forgiving you. There's forgiveness here. There is forgiveness. <laughs> so um, there's definitely an opportunity for love, but it's quite unexpected. It is very unexpected, and this is Cupid. It's like Cupid is bringing two people together after a period of growth, after a separation perhaps, after being apart, after, you know, I 
And we have the things being unharmonious and unbalanced. We have the six of coins reversed. I feel like somebody here um, has probably had their life turned upside down. because of their inability to put in effort, their inability to work together, their inability to um, let go of the past hurts, their, their inability to forgive. Now, this is rejection. Maybe somebody is coming back for another chance. That's what it looks like to me. I think there's somebody that is coming back for another chance. Maybe they've been rejected or you've been rejected. This is rejection, the Six of Coins. Somebody's been rejected. Maybe they, they want to apologize, because this could be an apology for rejecting, for not putting in effort. It's change. We have a change coming. Destined change. This is destiny. It absolutely is destiny. It is. That emperor and empress, the lovers and the six of cups and the wheel of fortune. We have some destined, a destined change, of course. This is, this is fate and destiny. It's meant to be. Something is meant to be. Um something good is on the way so it looks like you are headed to a much better place somebody is headed to a much better place and it's time it's time um, somebody is about to start basically a whole a whole new chapter with somebody from their past and I and you know a lot of people say well how can you do that if you've already been with them you can you can this is a new chapter with somebody from the past somebody that you have known before so this could be somebody from your childhood somebody that you didn't expect this is an unexpected change of course with somebody that you know put it that way And it looks, I mean, this is like, it's like, it's like you planted these seeds a long time ago, you know, and now it's time. It's time for this, this love connection to, to come together. I feel as though somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. Somebody hasn't putting in, been putting in effort. And then it's like, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody wants to put in effort. They want another chance. It could be because of another person. You know, maybe they don't want to lose their opportunity. Um, somebody has been very, very stubborn here. Somebody has very been, been very stubborn and very fixed. Very, very fixed. Very, very um, um, unforgiving, per se. And it's like all of a sudden there's a shift. There's a change. There's, there is. There's a change that this is, this is love. This is, this is, this is, this is love. So I feel like you guys have love coming in. You do have love coming in, and it is, it, it's, it's a, it's a power, it's a power couple. It's, it's a, it's the soulmate of a lifetime. Okay, with the emperor and the empress, and I think there's been a break. Okay, there's been a split. There has. There's been a break. There's been a. There's been a. And it's been quite a while. It's, it's been a pretty long split I think and I feel as though there's an opportunity to heal with the Empress and the three of swords reversed to heal this love connection
by releasing, by releasing the anxiety, by releasing the fears. You know, somebody has, has been losing sleep and their heart has been aching. They've been really going through a lot of, you know, restlessness over the pain they've been feeling in their heart. And it feels as though, you know, now now they they just want to let it go. You know, I want to let this go. I want to sleep again. I want to I, I, I want to be happy again. I, I feel like somebody shut down their heart because they were trying to prove something. And now they've realized that it's it's time for a change. The tower is a change. They've been trying to uh, resist change. It's reversed. Somebody has been resisting change and they've been f afraid of rejection for sure. I think this person has stayed back, whether it's you or the other person, because of fear of rejection. And now it's just like it's come to the point where the time is now. Now we have all these sixes. Six, 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 right next to each other. That's the journey to balance and harmony. Somebody is looking to restore balance and harmony in their life. It's like they've been through a period of reevaluation and, and the, it's time to get their life back on track. And perhaps, you know, one way to get their life back on track is to, maybe it's an apology, ask for forgiveness. I don't know. I know that's really hard for some people. Some people are so in their ego that they don't apologize. But there's an opportunity that there's a, for some of you, somebody's going to come through with an apology. The, the Knight of, of Pentacles and the Three of Swords reversed right under each other is somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Okay? Um, it's like all of a sudden there's just a shift. There's just a change. There's a change in mentality. There's a change in 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 desires per se it's like i i would like another chance i don't know who this is for but i feel as though there's a definite love connection here where you know two people are definitely meant to be so i don't know i don't know who this is for but i think that the past could be coming back around and it's very 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 unexpected but will it be accepted? That's the question. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is is a new cycle. So we do have a new cycle starting with somebody that you have known before, whether it is a past lover or somebody you just knew as a child or somebody that you knew at one point in your life. We definitely have a love connection here that could restore balance and harmony in somebody's life. But sixes are about reevaluation, so somebody may be reevaluating a past love connection and wanting to come forward. They may be coming forward with an apology. I don't know. Um, somebody's wanting to put in effort, though. They ha they are. <laughs> but let's clarify this Seven of Swords. What's this Seven of Swords? I mean, Seven of Swords is lies and deceit and sneaky, shady behavior. You know? Two of Wands clarifying the Seven of Swords. This person is making a decision to leave that behind. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, you know... choose a different path. I think if if you're deal I think you're dealing with somebody who is ready to let go of their old ways and they're ready to move forward and go down a new path. I think that that's what this is. I think that the the shady, sneaky bullshit that they used to be, I think they're ready to leave that darkness behind, you know, they're ready to, they're they're like they've worked really really hard to improve themselves, put it that way. I really feel like somebody is making a decision to you know, take a more positive approach and, and just do things differently with this Two of Wands. I feel like somebody may be suddenly deciding that that's, I don't want to be that way. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't, I, I'm not that same person. You know, I think that somebody is, 
detaching from their old shady, sneaky, shady behavior. Now, I, I know that's hard to believe. So, I mean, may is a key word here. May. Um, somebody is really, really working hard, though. They're putting in a lot of effort to choose a better life, to choose a better path. So, I mean, I think we have somebody here that is wanting, you know... better things, wanting success. We got somebody here that is um, wanting to really change their change. They're wanting to change their lives. They're wanting to change everything. And maybe they have changed. I feel as though somebody is making a decision to put in effort. Maybe because they've been rejected by somebody else. I mean, you have to be honest with you here. We have rejection a couple times. Somebody has been rejected, and maybe they've been rejected by somebody else, or they've rejected somebody else because they realize the connection over here. There's definitely been some rejection here, and I feel like we have somebody here that really doesn't want to be alone. I mean, I have to be honest with you here. Somebody may be coming back around or something like that because... They don't want to be alone. They want to be taken care of. Somebody has been in a period of isolation and it's like that time is over. So if you have been in a period of isolation and you've been in a period of waiting, whether this is for you or the person you're dealing with, somebody is, is coming forward with, probably an apology that's what it looks like to me and I think it's because there's been a recent rejection and you know now they realize through solitude that the other one was the one and if that makes any sense at all um it's like all of a sudden there's a shift there's a change of course because now they realize that this is the love you know whatever I don't know I don't know who this is for but um I see a soulmate connection coming together. It could just be starting. It could be starting this week where, you know, <laughs> communication comes in out of the blue. We could have some, some, uh, hasty, fast communication that comes through. Somebody could come, you know, charging right in suddenly, speak their truth, and it's like, you know what I just saw? Like running right into this person's arms. It's like, oh my God, thank you, Lord. You know, that kind of energy. It's like just... All of a sudden, they're here, and it's like, oh, my God, where have you been? Where have you been? You know? So it feels as though there's going to be some movement this week with a soulmate connection, water signs. Um, I think it's a perfect match. I think it's meant to be. I think it's destiny. Um, somebody is making a decision to put in effort. And I think it's because there's been a rejection. Whether they rejected another person to come to you or they were rejected by the other person. There's been a rejection for sure. There's been a rejection. And now they just want their peace and harmony back. They want their stability back. They they want the love of their life, you know. And it's just like I'm going to... It's, like, it's almost like they know I have to go get this because... I just know I do. So I don't know who this reading is for. But look what's on the bottom. Starting over. Fresh new start. So you definitely have a fresh new start, water signs, starting from scratch. With with who? Uh, with who? With your soulmate. I mean, this is absolutely positively a soulmate connection. There's no doubt about it. So get ready. Bye. Good luck.